In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the most underrated passing concepts in Madden 22. It's a concept that I think a lot of people are sleeping on from the trip side information. It's actually a route in particular that I think a lot of people are, face, are uh, sleeping on as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to hit the subscribe button. My name is Cody, and subscribing is completely free. It just allows you to stay up to date with the daily tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Our goal here on the channel is to help people become better Madden players. So if you're looking to get better at this game, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Now the play we're gonna be talking about today comes out of the trips tight end formation. If you can't tell by now, it's probably my favorite offense in Madden 22 for a variety of different reasons. But this reason today is because of the spacing, because of the fact that we can really stretch the defense both horizontally and vertically, put them in a position where they basically just can't win. So today we're gonna to be talking about the play verticals. And why I like verticals so much is because it attacks zone drop defenses in particularly it's also going to attack any defense that is baseline or any defense that is, like I said, using zone drops, as well as man-to-man -man coverage and match coverage. We're going to show you today how verticals can beat every single defense in Madden 22. If you want to check out my full trip side in ebook, I would recommend that you join our Patreon membership. It's only $10 a month to sign up for that. There'll be a link in the description below if you want to go check that out. The cool part about the membership is by joining it, you're not only going to get access to our trip side in ebook, but you actually get access to all 20 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks. In addition to that, we're gonna give you all of our updates and any new updates that we will release while your membership is active. So check that out today. There'll be a link in the description if you want to check that out. So guys, like I said, we'll be talking today about the play verticals out of the trips tied in formation. Let's jump into the video. So our setup is really actually fairly simple, um, but the way that I like to run my verticals concept is a true uh, four verts or three verts type of attack. So we're gonna go ahead and streak our tight end right at the scene. We're gonna put our running back on an in route. And then what we're gonna do with our outside receiver on the left, he's gonna be kind of a check down guy. We're gonna put him on a comeback route. And like I said, I think the comeback route might be one of the most underrated routes in Madden 22. What you're gonna see against cover four drop is that this deep, deep streak is going to open up this crosser, as you can see right there. I want you to notice something else about this in particular crosser. What makes this so good is the fact that that crosser is going to get over the top of basically every zone drop in the game. With the tight end streak to clear out all the deep blue zones, there's not gonna be a zone that is able to defend that route right there. As you can see, it gets about 35 to 40 yards down the field. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you is not only does that crosser beat every single zone coverage in the game, but let's say for example, they're using zone drops. If they're using zone drops, what you're going to notice here is that this little gap is going to be wide open to throw into the seam on that left side. It's one of my favorite ways to be able to beat consistently the cover three Mabel defense, which I'm about to show you right here. If they're double Mabeling out of the Mike plus three, this is a great concept because you see here the zones just clear out. And as you can see, that seam is wide open to be able to be hit. Now, against man-to-man -man coverage, I have a couple routes that I really like, but I'm gonna show you something else about this uh, cover three coverage real quick. The other thing that I really like about this cover three coverage here is you're gonna see that um, this comeback route, just pass lead that to the outside, and oftentimes it's gonna work essentially like a deep, deep out route on this play. Let me show you that one more time. So again, I'm gonna go to cover three. I'm just putting the running back on an in route, streaking the tight end, and putting that outside guy on a comeback. If you look at this pass lead the outside, you see that that comeback route really gets into a weird position on the defense. It gets about 15 to 20 yards down the field. Now, if you wanted to put a deep, deep out route up there, you can see here that if I win cover three, the deep out route will beat the defense as long as they don't, uh, or as long as they press that outside receiver. But what I want to also show you is let's say I'm double flatting. Okay, let's say I'm in the Mike Blitz three double Mabel concept. This is one of my favorite, favorite routes against that. What you're gonna see here is the cloud flat. It's gonna kind of uh, actually cover this, but the thing is, again, that's not a 30 yard depth. Now, if you're trying to force them into zone drops, I'm gonna kind of suggest to you another route that I really like out of this. And that is if you take the comeback route and what you're going to do is you're gonna put him into a fade stop and you're gonna smart route the fade stop. So the fade stop is gonna go about 30 yards down the field. So again, you got your coverage. It's more of a check down type of concept, but notice how the cloud flat completely runs away from it. And it's a great little dot, as you can see. Now, part of the reason I like this route is because again, it opens up the seam. It makes it so that it's very difficult for your opponent um, in the seams. What, whether it be cover four, they can't basically can't run zone drops because they have to have that press 
on to Scotty Miller. Let me show you what this play looks like with the press to Scotty Miller. What you're gonna notice here is this is a lot more of a difficult throw, but you can still hit this. And it's largely due to the fact that we have that comeback route on the left side. Now, what's also really good about the comeback route is that it just so happens that the comeback route is one of the best man beating routes in Madden 22. So we've already got the running back in route that's gonna be consistent against man coverage. The route to Chris Godwin is very consistent against man coverage. And then what you'll see is this comeback, this pass lead outside, as soon as he cuts, and as you can see, it absolutely torches man coverage for consistent gains. So that leaves match coverage. This is also one of my favorite reads against match coverage. It's one of the hardest throws in the real life, but in Madden, it's a lot easier of a throw. And as you can see, you can torch match coverage over and over again with this little comeback route. So not only does this beat every zone in the game, and the fact that they're going to have to basically decide that we're going to use her over here on the right. We're gonna have to take that cross away ourselves, but now we have this little check down read underneath. We can always turn that running back in route into easy gains against the defense. Last coverage I wanna show you this against is cover two. It's probably the best coverage that this uh, coverage exists against. Let me audible back over here to the cover two defense. And uh, what you're gonna see against cover two real quick is again, just more of the same. But the other cool part about cover two is you're gonna notice that this triangle receiver, if you pass lead that inside, he's actually gonna have a pretty good chance at splitting the safeties over the top for a pretty big gain against the cover two defense. Now the other thing that I didn't say yet about cover two, or uh, about the cover two defense is if they are in a traditional cover two with two vert hooks, what you're gonna notice here on the outside is you can actually pass lead, oops, threw that a little bit too, uh, a little bit too early. You can actually throw this comeback route and that's kind of a unique little throw, um, but basically what you can do here, and this is why I like to be on the wide side of the field so that I have the best spacing uh, possible, but you can basically almost kind of turn this fade, uh, as you can see right there, kind of turn it into a fade route. There I threw it just a little bit too late, but the bottom line is you might mess around with that, or you could just leave the fade, and I'll show you what that does against cover two. So if you get in a situation where they're running a lot of cover two, you could just run the verticals play. What you'll see is this fade on the left, He's passing that to the outside, and he should be able to beat cover two. Obviously, the other thing that I wanted to hit on real quick is that you've got your running back wide open. Your running back should be wide open because he's going to run so high. It's basically a high-low, right? It's basically a high-low. So he goes back, and what you'll see here is the running back gets wide open here. It's an easy 10 to 15 yards against that defensive coverage. The other thing that I wanted to show you against cover two is this is a coverage that a lot of people like to double Mabel out of. What I mean by double Mabel is they're gonna use a purple zone as well as a deep blue zone. But the problem with that, especially against this concept, is a 30 yard cloud flat is not going to be able to cover this route right here. As you can see, it gets over the top of that coverage and gets over to the top for a huge, huge gain. One last thing I wanted to say about cover four drop. Cover four drop, I think, seems to be start to becoming the defensive choice for a lot of people when defending trips tight end. This is one of my favorite plays to just crucify cover four drop, because you see how he gets him to the sideline, and then you have it, oftentimes an opportunity to make that catch. Let me show that one more time. Especially if they're base aligned and pressed, this is a great way uh, to kind of deal with cover four drop. Obviously you have your seams and stuff, but you'll notice that this guy gets over the top and kind of beats him to the sideline. There I'm throwing it just a little bit too uh, late, but if you throw that real sharp, and I'll show one more one more time, I actually get it right this time, but um, if, you if you throw it really, really sharp to the outside, you should see that this kills cover four drop. So right there, see how it's sharp, he can't recover, and you're able to hit that against the cover four defense. So verticals is a play that I don't call a lot, but it's something that when I do call it, almost always get great gains because we're doing such a good job of stretching the defense horizontally, doing such a good job of stretching the defense and flooding the zones left side or right side verticals is kind of a balanced play that attacks the middle of the field the seams in addition to that it has some of the best routes in Madden 22 i want to thank you for watching this video if you want to get my full trips tied in ebook or if you want to get all my ebooks join our patreon it's only ten dollars a month get you access to every madden 22 offensive and defensive guide that i've got and in addition to that we're going to give you all the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we will release while your membership is active so just ten dollars a month is going to get you access to all of that stuff and then lastly if you guys want to watch me play madden live i'm going to be streaming probably right about now i'm going to be streaming at 10 o'clock a.m eastern time uh, on twitch.tv slash cody baller 0531 i stream every monday wednesday and friday at 10 a.m eastern so be sure to come check me out uh, just started streaming over there on twitch a lot of people have been asking for that 
So I hope that that is something that is helpful to you. Again, if you want to join our Patreon and get access to all of my Madden 22 eBooks, it's only $10 a month. There'll be a link in the description. So head on down there and check that out. Thanks for watching, guys.